All right, Mrs. S, uh, thanks for meeting with me again. And I know um, we're meeting kind of out in the open today, but um, the kids are gone it's after school, so that's good. Um, but I wanted to come out and meet where you usually sit with um, Tommy and the other kids. So um, a couple of the things that I have noted about um, the observations I made about him were in the classroom, he has, he's seated next to a student named Ashley. We'll call her Ashley. And um, he tends to get a lot of help and a lot of assistance from her because he is off task in the classroom as well. And so I'm noticing that when he needs those those things told to him, such as, you know, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing right now, and he's um, frustrated. Ashley will actually lean over and say, Tommy, you're supposed to be here in the book, or Tommy, we're supposed to have our scissors out. And so he's getting that help from her, which tends to then get him on track for a little while. What I'm noticing in the group when I was learning that day with, your, um, with you and um, the kids, he was really frustrated that day. Um, he had leaned over and asked the little boy next to him if he could tell him what he was supposed to be doing, and he just got really annoyed and looked like he um, didn't, wasn't supposed to be talking and trying to follow the rules, and Tommy was just trying to tell him, you know, I need to know what we're supposed to be doing, I don't know what we're doing, he's very frustrated. And that was the day that he threw his book on the floor. Um, he was so upset because no one was helping. He said, you know, Ashley always helps me. True in this classroom, so he is not independent in his ability to remember what directions were given to him. So I've I've made a couple of um, a, I have a couple of suggestions, and so let you can let me know if you think this would work for you, or if um, you you have some ideas on your own that you'd like to try based on these things. But okay. from what I'm seeing is he would maybe benefit from some some visual cues on what's happening, as well as maybe on the board. So I went ahead and wrote, wrote our book is Pete the Cat. I noticed he really likes Pete the Cat. So we have uh, Pete the Cat here. And then I have a couple of um, word cards. So for instance, this says book out. So he knows I need to have my book out. His folder should be under the table. I should be eating silently. So he can have all of these things, you know, for this activity. So I need to have my book out, I should be quiet, and I need to make sure my folder is under the table. If I can't remember what book I'm supposed to be reading, I can look up here and see, oh yeah, it's Pete the Cat. And he can get a book out instead of reading. Um, what do you think about that? Do you think this would work for him? Yeah, I think this was a great idea because I do notice that, that like, he was just very lost all the time and like other students don't want to be in trouble. So they're like, what is that just doing? And they always tell him to be quiet. So I think this would be definitely very helpful for us. And if we need to add more cards later on, depending on what we're doing yeah. that day, that would be awesome. And that's what I was going to suggest is that I can show you the template I use for these things. Sure. But then I know you do writing on some days. So he would need to have his pencil out. Um, some days he would need to have his folder on the table. So I think that would be um, really helpful to see those visual reminders. Yeah, that would be great. Great. And are you okay with tracking this in maybe like a notebook or something? Um, that way we can see how he does every day these prompts. Yeah, of course. Like, what would you want me to be tracking in that folder specific? Great question. So I think um, what I'm looking for is how often does he have to have a disciplinary, whether that's his name on the board, or he has to match his card. Mm -hmm. At the end of um, every time, at the end of his time with you, um, is he still getting his name on the board? Is he still having to go punch his card? I know okay. there's three warnings and then the punch the card. So. Um, However, that system's working. We're trying to decrease the amount of discipline he yeah. gets, as well as hopefully um, stop annoying his his neighbors, his peers, and his other classmates. So, um, if this sounds good to you, I'd like to go ahead and implement, and you can let me know what works. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that'd if you, be awesome. if you always, if you have any questions, um, you can email me, and I'm going to be down again just to observe, probably within the next week or so, just to see how it's going. Okay. And then um, we can meet again to talk about how you feel like the system is working or not working, and we can make adjustments. Okay, perfect. Great. Well, thank you, and um, we'll keep in touch. Sounds good. All thank right. you so much. Mm -hmm.